We were born into this world with naturally curious hearts and minds. Into a world where to live is to learn. Somewhere along the way, we end up turning those lessons of life into subjects. Subjects with rules and with boundaries. My thought process in organizing and exploring in this purpose-driven unschool of ours is to bring those subjects back to life to simply live, to live simply, finding the lessons, knowing that it is our job to work at it with hearts of gratitude, to seek understanding, to search for wisdom above all else. We already chatted things out with you and with the kids about moving into unschooling. And I think they get it. And now I have to figure out what to do with my planner mama heart. (laughs) Because um, I'm kind of steering this ship here. My goal right now that we've already established what we're moving into is to kind of reorganize and restructure homeschool life to fit this purpose-driven unschool of ours. So I thought it would be good to start by clearing out the homeschool or the learning spaces um, to reflect better what um, our new expectations are. So these next few days are going to be all about organizing our purpose-driven unschool. Um, I'm going to start with the subject matter that is most important, I feel like, for us, and that is language arts. Um, I want to take this step by step so that I can document this process of jumping into something that feels a little bit scary. And I think that by finding some sort of grounding understanding Um, of what our our goals are is just going to kind of help us to move forward. So I've always from the very beginning told the kids um, or expressed to the kids what I felt like my understanding of learning language arts really is. And for us that is about learning to be effective communicators. It's all about communication. So I'm trying to figure out how do I move this into our purpose-driven unschool life, (laughs) okay? (laughs) So I normally have these um, work boxes that we've used in different ways over the years. And now it's just about like reimagining these um, little corners of their learning room to fit what we are moving into. So I started by pulling everything out of their work boxes. In addition to our work boxes, we also have a morning basket. And that has looked different, you know, over the years as well. But our main bread and butter for this unschool of ours is going to be centered all around language arts and communication. And for us, um, I thought that the perfect fit for that was teaching the kids how to be journalist, um, teaching them about what journalism means, what it entails, and to me it's all about proper research, um, teaching them how to give attention, their attention to all the details in the world around them. And then once they have those observations and have done that research, how to effectively put it into a format to be able to communicate their thoughts and ideas and findings to others. So yeah, journalism to me and language arts seem like the perfect fit. Um, Storytelling is really uh, what I want to impress upon them. So now I have this idea, I have this feeling in my heart and these thoughts in my mind about what I want to share with them 
or what I wanted to explore with them and like how do I put that into a format and package it up so that I effectively communicate it to them and then they can take it and just kind of run with it. So, okay, let's see. And the first one I have is so good. Um, it says, question everything, assume nothing, and learn the truth. And that is really what I want them to do. I want them to feel comfortable um, with their natural ability to ask questions, and then that's okay. Um, I don't want them to assume, because I think assuming kills relationships. And, um, but questions help to build them if you do it properly. Uh, the next one is, as a writer, you try to listen to what others aren't saying and write about the silence. Oh, I loved that one. I don't know if they're going to completely get that, <laughs> but I'm going to share it nonetheless. But I just want, I truly want them to understand that it's not about writing what I want them to write. Um, but it's about paying attention. It's about um, paying attention to others and paying attention to your surroundings and write about the things that aren't obvious. Um, so I really loved that one. The next one was speak in such a way that others love to listen to you and listen in such a way that others love to speak to you. And I think I don't have to explain that one. <laughs> Again, that's one that's rooted in relationship, which is super important. Um, and I think really is the goal of learning language arts. You learn similes and metaphors. You learn how to write poems and um, biographies and persuasive papers. And you learn different synonyms and antonyms and um, how to properly place punctuation in order to effectively communicate your thoughts and ideas to others. But it's not just to be writing and it's not just to be speaking. It's to actually change and affect the world around you. And um, I want to guide them along that way, but I also think that it's something that naturally we have inside of us. So my goal is to be here to help and pull that out of them. The next one is absolutely why I feel like, um, I just felt like in my heart, storytelling had everything to do with journalism. And then I came across this quote, which says, it's all storytelling. That's what journalism is all about. Straight and simple. Um, journalists tell stories. And our goal is to make sure that those stories are rooted in truth. Um, and then the last one being, don't forget, no one else sees the world the way you do. So no one else can tell the stories that you have to tell. Um, above all else, I want them to understand their individuality and that they were made so incredibly um, unique and it can't be taken away from them. And I don't want them to be deceived into thinking that their voice or their thoughts or their revelations don't matter. And our goal is to strengthen our gifts and our skills in order to be able to communicate those things effectively to others around us and change the trajectory of life paths that we come across and even our own if that makes any sense <laughs> okay so those are all my thoughts right those are all my thoughts and feelings about why um about what I understand language arts to be and what I want to impress upon the kids about language arts. And so with that in mind, that's how we are going to approach it. That's how we're going to approach all things, writing research papers, creative writing, um, anything that has to do with language arts, just making sense of it all so that they have a stronger understanding to me is uh, giving them the gift of go. Like go and do and learn more and find new ways to make this, whatever form of communication that you choose at any given time, most effective and most enlightening to the world around you, if that makes any sense. So, okay, now that I have that done, I'm just gonna go back through the things I have. I, I always try to get myself to <laughs> to think Serena you don't have to start from scratch 
There's probably so much around you that you can pull from and make sense of it all. So while this is our biggest thing in our homeschool is teaching them how to be incredible um, journalists, what tools would I give them? What would I give them to be able to run with and um, use the incredible minds that they have already been given? So I thought that um, since journalism is the biggest thing and language arts is the biggest thing um, that I want to impress, I would give it the biggest amount of their little space. Um, so we have our work box tower, but then I also have this morning basket space. So I'm just going to start by emptying it out and figuring out the things that I want to be in here for sure. I don't know if you guys have come across our book year guide, but I basically created a little guide with the help of um, my patron fam who really helped me give me the time and space to be able to put that together and just simply state how we view reading in our homeschool. But in there it expresses how important I feel like it is to create time and space um, to read in whatever way. And this year we are doing a new book year that goes along with our um, our new structure of purpose-driven unschooling and um, we're just adding in more and more time for reading. My plan is for all of the books that they are reading, whether they be uh, fiction, nonfiction, research books, whatever the case may be, are going to live inside of their um, journalism basket. I don't know if I'm gonna rename it or not. I think that might be too many changes for them. <laughs> Even though I do want them to be flexible and pliable, I do think kids need some sort of, you know, grounding root in, in stability. So I think I'm going to keep this as being the morning basket, but just, you know, let them know that this is going to hold all of their tools to become incredible journalists. Um, so I'm just going to pull out all this stuff. Uh, this is our binder of which I am just going to pull out all the things and make sure it is nice and stacked with writing papers with writing papers and their book notes all things that have to do with taking notes about the things that they read and the things that they discover so I am going to clean that up a little bit um, so that this becomes their place for keeping all of their uh, writing of course, I've got a clipboard in here because clipboards just say research and observation to me. <laughs> I definitely think that having uh, headphones is going to be essential for their little um, adventure in journalism. Um, I'm really big on having them record their own thoughts on their iPads. Each of my kids does have an iPad and I do feel like it's very, very important for their studies and gathering all of their work together. Uh, Last year, we made started making a major transition into becoming as paperless as possible, and so we use our iPad all the time. So really, the only time we use um, paper is for their writing. So um, right now, I have their color-coded um, headphones, but I am going to be looking into getting wireless headphones. Um, the cords are definitely uh, very cumbersome. Um, next up inside, they have their little mini notebook, which we normally use for um, language study. I do plan on keeping this as a part of their journalism basket because this is how it makes sense to me. Um, as they learn different words and phrases and ways to communicate in other languages, like that's still very much so language arts. Um, it's still learning the art of uh, words and uh, communication. So we probably will keep things that relate to whatever language they are um, studying or increasing their knowledge in inside of our journalism basket. And probably the single most important piece inside of our journalism basket is going to be their actual journals. Um, so I gave this to them a few months ago and it's been a rough start in trying to um, get them to be consistent inside of their journals but that has everything to do with me <laughs> because really they're looking for direction and they want to know you know what things are expected of them and so it's important for me to establish a consistency um, so that they can keep writing and um, uncover why it is so 
uh, important for us. So I'm just going to jump right in um, and, and try to do a lot better with encouraging them to be more consistent inside of their journals. But this is going to be so key to um, becoming incredible journalists. Um, but of course, with our writings, uh, whether it be through book notes or their creative writing or poems or letters um, or inside of their journals or their language, um, notebooks, using their cameras, recording audio, whatever it is, they're going to use all of these bits and pieces. And I'm going to be doing the same. So I'm really excited about being able to share that with them. Um, to learn of those skills with them and to uncover or develop a stronger grasp on why it's such a wonderful skill to develop and to grow because um, it could be used in any different way, if that makes any sense. So we all have separate gifts and um, separate passions or compassions and I feel like language arts and journalism are wonderful ways to be able to uh, explore and discover more about them, no matter what they are. And then lastly, what I'm going to be doing is unpacking and repacking their pencil boxes. So inside of their pencil box, of course, are gonna go fresh pencils, highlighters. Um, we have inside here, their walkie talkies. To me, this all says communication. So I'm going to repack these so that they're nice and fresh and they have all the tools to be able to grow into incredible little journalists. So yeah. I hope this was kind of sort of to the point, <laughs> but I definitely wanted to document what my um, thought process was and share it with you guys um, and just kind of tell of how we're going to start this thing off. And as we make changes and adjustments and, and new discoveries, I, I hope to share more about how these systems um, are working and what it is doing in each of the kids lives along the way. So yeah, this is how we are going to be approaching language arts in this purpose driven in school of ours. And I am just going to get to it so I can clean um, their baskets out to be able to present to them and get them pumped about it. I do want to get individual cameras for them, a typewriter. Uh, so Cameron has been asking for a typewriter for quite some time. He asked for Christmas. He also asked for his birthday. And it's been kind of hard to find one and justify spending uh, the money. But um, I thought it would be a wonderful little um, addition to our transformation into true journalism and journalist. So those are some of the extra things that I like to toss in there. Another thing that is going to be key is having library stops along the way. So the library is always the best place for me to just be filled up and for the kids to just run through the aisles of books and know that there's so much out there to research and uncover. And so as we move along on the tour, our library stops, I imagine in my head, are going to be a sure favorite. I'm sure a favorite. So if you know of any incredible libraries that I need to put on our list um, along the way, please let me know. I started off with a small little list um, and I'm hoping for that list to grow. Y'all know I can get lengthy, but I did want to share. I'm going to keep this little organizing our unschool thing going because life is so very full of lessons. And the goal is to live and to learn.